What's up everybody? Hope everyone's having an awesome day. This video is part 5 of the Wildlife Art Exhibition side mission in Red Dead 2. In this one, I'll show you how to get the cedar waxwing, crow, blue jay, bat, and beaver carcasses. After that, we'll go ahead and finish up everything in order to get the It's Art achievement or trophy if you're on PS4. And before we go any further, this video will contain spoilers for the story and characters. So if you haven't completed the game yet, watch this at your own risk. With that out of the way, hit that like button, grab your varmint rifle and small game arrows and let's get to it. After completing the main game, we now take the reins as John Marston. You couldn't shoot a fart out of your own ass! At this point, you'll have to complete part one of the epilogue in order for the fifth part of the Wildlife Art Exhibition side mission to show up. For me, the unopened mail notification thing popped up just as I was completing the last mission in epilogue part one. Grab your mail when you get the prompt to get the list of animals. To get started, I'm going to skip over the cedar waxwing for now and go right for the bat, blue jay, and crow carcasses since they can all be found in the same area. For these, we will be heading to my favorite hunting spot, Roanoke Valley. And just a heads up, John Marston can't swim. Like, at all. So just keep this in mind when trying to go for carcasses that are in water that's over knee deep. To start us off for the crow, I found one pretty much right away near the slope towards Roanoke Valley, but they also tend to hang around the rocks near the Wolves Den entrance. Check both spots repeatedly and you should come across one pretty quickly. For the blue jay, I ended up heading further down river to this spot on the map, although it will likely be different in your game. I just ran up and down the river with small game arrows equipped until I came across one. For the bat carcass, the Wolves Den on Roanoke Valley is the best place to guarantee a bat spawn. You have to be quick as they'll fly out as soon as you try to enter. I used Deadeye here with the bow and smaller game arrows and got a perfect carcass on my first try. Just be mindful of the wolves inside the den as they'll attack if you get too close. And if you kill them, be prepared to face their den mother. Actually, I confirmed it's their father. Moving on to the Cedar Waxwing, head to this spot south of Rhodes near Braithwaite Manor. Equip your varmint rifle and make sure you have a full deadeye meter. Here you want to focus your eyes on the sky and keep a lookout for a flock of waxwings. They tend to spawn in flocks of three or four at a time. Here, I use a snapping aim to verify it was a flock of waxwings, then use deadeye to mark all four of them. Go grab each one of the carcasses until you get a perfect one. For the beaver carcass, head to this spot west of the Van Horn trading post. I found two or three beavers hanging around this area near the makeshift dam and the river. Just use the varmint rifle with Deadeye for a one-shot kill. At this point, you should have all the carcasses by now, so let's go mail them off at the post office and say hi to Mr. Pasty. All right, I'll send it on its way. After that, you'll have to wait about 24 hours in game to get your final letter and reward. You can pass the time any way you choose, but I'd recommend shooting bottles off the heads of a couple strangers in Valentine. Once you get the unopened mail notification, head to the post office to pick up your reward and an invite to finally meet Mrs. Hobbs face to face. For this, head to this icon on the map and make your way to the sweet looking log cabin. Hello, Ms. Approach the door to activate this awkwardly funny cutscene, which I won't ruin for you. Hello, dearie. Hello. At the end, you'll receive your reward. A stuffed squirrel statue. <sighs> now at this point, you'd think you're done, but not quite. In order to get the It's Art achievement, we have to do a few more things. So let's head back to Beecher's Hope, where John's ranch is. Once there, walk up to the mantle above the fireplace and put the statue there. At this point, Abigail will ask about it. What? What is that? It's art. And now the fun begins. Oh. Basically, when John is away from the ranch for about 24 hours, Abigail hides the statue, which you have to find and put back on the mantle. How you pass the time away from the ranch is up to you, but I found it easiest to fast travel to Blackwater, rent a room, and sleep for the longest selectable time. Then, head back to Beecher's Hope, find the statue, and put it back on the mantle. You have to do this a total of six times, and every time you have to make sure to put the statue back on the mantle. The first spot you'll find the statue is in the chest just by the door in your bedroom. Grab it and put it on the mantle. The second spot is again in the bedroom but hidden in the fireplace. Grab it, put it on the mantle. The third spot is in the attic which you get by using the ladder in the kitchen. Grab it, put on mantle. The fourth spot is outside on the right side of the barn in the sheep's pen. Grab it, mantle. 
The fifth spot is in the chest in the barn's attic. Go inside and up the ladder to find the chest. Grab, mantle. The sixth and final spot is all the way up by Strawberry with a squirrel at the highest peak on Mount Shan. Just veer slightly right once you're near the top and walk the rest of the way. Here, you'll see an expertly placed and hidden squirrel statue. Pick it up and head back to Beecher's Hope. Place it on the mantle one last time to get a sense of relief, but also to hear the sweet sound of that achievement. And that wraps up this video, guys and gals. Thanks for watching and sticking through this guide with me. Hope you found it useful and fun to watch. If you did, consider hitting that like button, leave a comment down below, and also consider subscribing. I try to post new content every week. As always, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. You and I are both like God now, in a way. What, what is that? It's art. Oh, that's what they call it. Thank you.